Welcome back to another weekly update for my Robinhood portfolio. I have a couple of things I want to go over, so I'm going to try to do everything quickly to get to each topic and not ramble too long on anything. So first off, obviously a red week here. That's okay. Last week was pretty good. There's going to be volatility right now, so I'm not phased by this at all. Um, last week we didn't buy any stocks, but we did put the $100 into the portfolio. So I ended up buying PBA, just a couple of shares there. Um, and then for the $100 this week, I bought Main Street Capital. And interesting enough for Main Street Capital, their dividend is like 10% right now. They actually just confirmed that they're going to be paying their dividend uh, for the foreseeable future. So I'm feeling very comfortable investing in them right now. Their safety score, which I'll show you in a minute here, is pretty solid. So um, definitely not a bad pick for that price point and to get that monthly dividend. So um, that's pretty much it for that. I think next week I'll be looking at realty income. Um, depending on the price, might have to buy one share of realty and one share of something else or whatever. But uh, we'll see how I'm feeling, I guess. There's a couple of stocks that I'm looking at. Maybe some AGNC or SPHD. Who knows, $100. It's not really a huge impact week to week. But uh, let's move on. So last week I said that Simply Safe doesn't connect or automatically update their side of things for every brokerage. So the two that I'm curious about was M1 Finance and Robinhood. So I shot them an email seeing if they had any plans to link the accounts or not. And this is what I got back. Um, by the way, it took them like a day to respond to me. So that's really nice that they're so on top of things there. But anyways, um, M1 Finance is high on their list. Um, and Robinhood, not so much. They haven't gotten any as many requests. I'm guessing it has to do with the type of people that invest in these platforms. I think M1 Finance is a little bit older generation that is more uh, numbers driven and uh, really likes to track their stocks and how they're doing kind of thing and read the reports and all that stuff. So that's my guess. I'm not sure, but Regardless, it would be great if they added both of these. Maybe over the long term they will once they get to it. But uh, interesting to see that M1 Finance is high on their list. So something to think about. Um, all right. So Simply Safe Dividends here. This is an external site that I plug into my buys into to track my annual income and uh, their safety scores. Because again, I don't have a lot of time to be doing all the research. So these guys will send me email updates on companies, on if their dividends being cut, all that good stuff. So like I said about Main Street Capital, that came from these guys sending me the email. I didn't have to do the research. So it's kind of nice. I'm not saying I'm relying on them for investment decisions, but it's helping me make better decisions because I'm more informed thanks to their research. Um, but yeah. So not really a whole lot to show here. It has annual income, um, all that good stuff. But uh, as you can see, some dividend yields I have are really high. Um, I would say EPR and PSEC are unsustainable, so I'm going to probably stay away from those companies right now. I'm thinking about selling Apple Hospitality REIT here. Um, I don't see that changing anytime soon. I think their dividend was cut. That's why it's not here. But uh, we'll see what we decide to do with that. I'm still not 100% sure. But the last thing I wanted to show was this. So every time I get paid a dividend, I log it here. And I just added these two graphs to show what was actually paid and then what my average account value is. So starting with the dividends paid, um, this is going to show what I was actually paid, not what... I'm projected to be paid, which Simply Safe Dividends will be showing me. And what a lot of other YouTubers are actually doing is showing you what they're projected to be paid if everything's going how they want it to. But I think this is more accurate. It's not up to date, obviously, because we got to wait for April to end before we put in April numbers. But um, I don't know. For me, it's just going to be interesting to see 
hopefully how these uh, dividends go up over time and then how my account value grows over time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably show this maybe once a month just because that's when the graphs will actually be moving. But maybe we'll show it weekly because then it has the dividends in there. Got a lot of dividends this week. That was nice. Got paid one, two, three, four, five dividends on one day. I'm assuming those five are always going to pay on the same day too. So kind of cool to have so many different companies sending me money so I can reinvest. Um, but yeah, the last thing I got is Robinhood actually got me onto the cash management. So I did sign up for it. Um, this is what it looks like on their website. It's a little bit different on the app, but I ordered the black card. I wasn't really sure which one to go with, but either this one or the white one I was kind of interested in. But anyways, um, so they got your buying power here and then what you can withdraw or spend. So um, I can't withdraw this right now because the amount hasn't settled. But uh, 0.30% APY. That's why I was hesitant to even sign up for this just because it's such a small APY. But it's better than nothing, so any money that I do end up having sitting here, I guess we'll get interest, um, but we'll see. And then you can do direct deposit onto the account now, which is nice. So I might actually do that instead of manually transferring money over from the account that I have. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Like I said, next week, probably going to be buying some safer stocks just to keep the trend going since there's still a lot of uncertainty right now. Um, but yeah, if you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. Um, if you're not sub, please sub. We got a few subs last week, which was cool to see. Um, and as always, if there's anything anybody wants to see, just let me know or any questions, let me know and I'll be happy to answer or make a video on it. But yeah, see you in the next one.